So now I'm going to tell you about um, binary search trees. A binary search tree is a binary tree which is either empty or it has the following properties. Everything to the left of the root is less than or equal to the root. Everything to the right of the root is less than or equal to is greater than or equal to the root. And the left and right subtrees are both binary search trees. We need all those properties for it to be a binary search tree. So is this thing here a binary search tree? Well let's check. Everything to the left is less than the root because there isn't anything to the left. Everything to the right is greater than the root and the left and right subtrees are both empty and empty is an example of a binary search tree so this is a binary search tree what about this one well again everything to the left is greater than is less than the root everything to the right is greater than the root that's good and then the left thing and the right thing are both binary search trees so again that's right so what we're going to do now is to write a method in Java for inserting an element into a binary search tree. Well let's talk about where that would go. Let's look at this binary tree and suppose we wanted to insert a 7 into this binary search tree. Where, How would we do that and where would it go? Well what we do is we start at the root and we compare the thing we're trying to insert which is 7 with the root. If it is, if it's bigger then we go right and if it's less we go left. Well 7 is bigger than 5 so we go right. So again we compare 7 with 8 and this time 7 is smaller so we go left. So the 7 would end up here. Let's do one more. Let's suppose we were trying to insert 4. Well we start here. 4 is less than 5 so we go right. 4 is greater than 3. No, 4 is, sorry, 4 is less than 5 so we go left. 4 is greater than 3, so we go right, so the 4 would end up here. If we wanted to put a 2, 2 is less than 5, so we go left, 2 is less than 3, so we go left, so the 2 would end up there. So let's write a method in Java for um, inserting something, an integer, into a binary tree of integers. So our function is going to take a um, a binary tree where it's going to return a binary tree of um, integers and we'll call it insert and it's going to take an integer i and a binary tree of integers Um, B, should we call it? So, th um, so our function has got our method has got two parameters: the integer we're trying to insert, and the tree B that we're trying to put it in, and it returns the, the resulting binary tree. Well, there are two cases we have to consider. The first is the simple case where the tree we're trying to put it in is empty. So how do we do that? If b dot is empty, we want to return return. How do I spell return? Uh, new. What was it called? The constructor is cons binary tree. There we are. New cons binary tree. Well, what do we want to do? Uh, well, if it's empty, uh, we want to construct the tree who's got i at the root and both the subtrees are empty. So what it's going to be, it's going to be like one of these ones here. Um, it's going to be like, uh, say, this one here. Uh, in fact, we can just put i here. So that's the case when the tree is empty. 
Else, if B is not empty, we've got to check whether the um, I is less than the root of tree. So how do we do that? If I is less than uh, B dot root, in that case we want to go to the left. So what do we want to return? We want to tr return the new binary tree whose, um, so let's make it, uh, let's copy this just to think about. We want to con we want to make the new binary tree with what properties? We want the root to be the same as the root of the original, which is b dot root, and we want the right hand one to be the same as it was before. So that's b dot right, because we're not changing the right; we're putting it into the left one, aren't we? Because it's less than the root. So that's b dot right. and the <coughs> and the uh, left one we're going to get by inserting so we're going to insert i into b dot left so note the recursion because we're going down the left hand side of the tree um, so the other case is when i is greater or equal to the root. So what are we going to get? We're going to get well the other way around. So let's just copy this and so it'll be uh, almost this on the other side. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, B dot right here, and then here it's going to be um, B dot left. Which in this case we keep the left one the same, and we go to the right. Insert I B dot right. It looks like I've got too many brackets there. Let's get one or rid of one of those. We're constructing the new binary tree whose root is the same as it was before. Let's put these bracket. Let's put these here. Let's call the root function here. Um, b dot left and insert i in b dot right. Spell that right. Uh, we need to make this function static. So okay, let's um, try and compile that. Um, B dot right. Let's let's try that. So let's compile that. Two errors. Cons binary tree. B dot root. Cons binary tree. Cons binary tree. Cons binary tree. Um, am I spelling that wrong? Where is it complaining about that? Cons binary tree. Cannot find symbol. Cannot find symbol. So what's wrong with that? Ah, I've forgotten the new, haven't I? New. We need to say new there. We're using the constructor. New there. There we go. Save that. Save that. One error. Missing return statement. Ah, I've got to return that, haven't I? Return. And again. Return. So, there's my method. Now it compiles OK. So just check. If it's empty, 
we if we if the thing with if, if the tree is empty we just create the tree whose root is i and whose whose left and right subtrees are empty if the thing we're trying to insert is less than the root we insert it into the left so we create the tree whose root is the same and whose right is the same and we've inserted the new thing i into the left and if it's the other way around we put it into the right so let's call that um well seven here was a was was uh um which binary tree was that um where's it gone here so there's that binary search tree and let's try inserting the seven into it so that one corresponds to um this last one here so what i want to do is i want to let's have a binary tree called T8 or something binary tree T8 equals well let's say insert um, let's insert 7 into T7 so what we're doing is we're taking this binary tree here and putting a 7 into it so we should get uh, the 7 coming to the left of the 8 if we've done it right so let's um, ah we've got to also we've got to display T8 T8 is the new one that we've just created so we'll do that so let's compile it and run it so let's call it T8 and let's display T8 which is the new one we've just made and there we can see the 7 has gone where we expected it <coughs> so let's insert a 6 into that one so we could just say let's say um, so how do we do that we'd say T9 T9 is we're going to insert a 6 into T8 that's like that T9 is inserting 6 into T8 and we're going to print out T9 compile it run it, put the output into T9 and have a look at T9 T9 and we can see where the 6 has gone so how, how did it end up there well 6 is bigger than 5 so we go right 6 is less than 8 so we go left 6 is less than 7 so we go left and there's a space there so we've added 6 there so that's how to insert things into the bi into a binary tree so um, in the next uh, video, we'll talk about how to convert a whole uh, list of elements into a, a binary search tree in a similar way. Thank you.